veteran, was North America's first twin-engine bomber. With over 8,000 of them built during the course of the war, the B-25 was extremely potent in North Africa and also the Southwest Pacific area of the war. And then, in the Korean conflict, the aircraft taking off right in front of you now is the F-86 Sabre jet, the first swept wing fighter that the Air Force ever had. And early in the Korean conflict, the North Korean Air Force had a swept wing fighter known as the MiG-15. And there goes Panchito, Larry Kelly flying the air for the photo pass, Ed Shipley from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, in that beautiful F-86 Sabre jet. Once again, take a look at the Sabre jet. Typically, it just flies past 687 miles per hour. Following the success of the F-86 in the combat in the Korean conflict, the Sabre became a very, very familiar sight throughout the West. Over the top, Ed Shipley now, the nose falling through the horizon, does one and a half rolls on the down line as he picks up speed. It was also licensed built in Australia and Canada and, a, and also Japan, where the last Sabre jets were still active in service for the Japanese Air Force into the late 1970s. Although production ended for, in December of 1956 for the Sabre, it remained on duty for years afterwards. Sabre pilots were assigned to both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions. The foremost was straight in 1958. Sabre jet introduced the AIM-9 Sidewinder missile. That heat-seeking missile. As we bring in the Raptors from the 94th Aero Squadron right now. The F-86 to enter service was the H model, which was powered by a more powerful General Electric J-73 engine, resulting in a deeper fuselage, and these Sabre models were sold to the United States Air National Guard 